Hi, so today is Sunday. It's October 7th. Um, it's 10.30 p.m. I just got back from my weekend trip to Hahui Village and also the Andon 15th Annual Mask Festival. So I just want to do a quick recap of my weekend. Um, I really enjoyed it because it was just kind of nice to get out of the city uh, for a change and also to experience something a bit cultural because I really haven't experienced that in Seoul. Um, not to say that Seoul isn't great because Seoul is effing awesome, but it's just kind of nice to get out of the city, experience some culture, and yeah, so I just want to talk about, talk about my experience. Um, I actually already messed up this video because I was going to start by wearing this mask that I made at the mask festival. So um, it was really cool. So they pretty much, um, you paid 5,000 won, which is like $4 Canadian. And um, I'm just going to tell you this by wearing a mask because I just think it's hilarious. So let's see how I look. Okay, so hopefully it's on. So pretty much um, you pay $4 to make this mask and they give you this like hard sculpt stone sculpture and they give you three sheets of paper or paper mache paper. So pretty much what you do is you put the first sheet um, on the stone cast and then you paint water all over it. And then the second sheet, you put glue on it and then you put it over the cast and just press it down on the stone sculpture. Um, before you do this, you actually pick a mask that you want to make. There's like dozens of shapes you can do. And then the third layer, you do this, you repeat the process. So you paint, you put glue all over it and you put it over the, the stone sculpture as well. Um, and then after you, they get paper mache strips and you just get to make the skin layer, which is put orange. And then I put the eyebrows and the crown and little decorations and then little shapes here. Um, the lady was actually pretty annoying because, um, I mean, this is art, right? It's this mask and I'm the one that's going to be wearing it. So I want to make it how I want it to be like, but she kept correcting me to put like different shapes or like, different colors. Um, but I liked it this way, so too bad for her. Um, and after you give it to them and then you put your name, so I have my name like, up here somewhere. Um, and you, just, you, come, you go walk around the festival for half an hour, come back and they have it all ready for you. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my video in this mask because I find it just, I don't know, why not, part of a theme. Um, it's kind of itchy though, so I'll probably be scratching myself like all the time. And I hope I don't look too stupid because I'm not a fan of making videos twice. It's a one shot for me. So um, there were two parts to this trip. So the first was Saturday morning, got up at like 6 a.m., which is usually the time I go home on Saturday morning. So that was uh, pretty crazy. I went to bed still at like 4 a.m., so I got like two hours of sleep. Um, got to the bus. It was about like a three hour, four hour ride down to Hahei Village. So the village is pretty much where uh, Confucianism was, I wouldn't say started, but it was pretty much where it kind of became popular in Korea, or that's the gist that I got from it. I mean, I wasn't like totally listening. But we got there and we stayed in a pension house. So pretty much the bus had like uh, 50 something people. I went with two friends, um, Candice and Arielle. Arielle has a YouTube channel called Soju for Two. And she talks about her experience in Korea too. So you should check her out. Um, and then also, so we went to this village and we live in a pension, which is pretty much uh, how Hei Village is a traditional folk village. So pretty much we got there and we got to stay in the little like traditional home. So each each room had like could hold four to eight people and had like blankets, you sleep on the floor, but each room also had TV. So it wasn't like totally traditional. And then, uh, but because me, Kaz and Arielle are new to this group, this Seoul hiking group that you can join to do these trips and hikes in Seoul and in Korea, um, we didn't pick a room fast enough. So we actually um, had no room. So pretty much the family that takes care of this whole village, they actually gave us the grandma's room to let us sleep in. So it was a little embarrassing, but we got a gift for the grandma when we were leaving, so it wasn't, don't feel that bad, I guess. But we, our room was also warm, so we got lucky. So we stayed in the actual house of the family that ran the village, so that was pretty awesome. Um, so the first day we got there, um, I don't remember what we did. Oh, sorry, we got there at like 10 a.m. We had lunch, we had this famous food there. It's called, it's a chicken dish, and I'll do a separate post tomorrow with all the pictures because I don't know how to put photos in the video yet. Or I, I can probably learn, I'm just too lazy though. I'm um, sorry. So we had this like chicken dish. It was amazing. It was really good. Reminded me a lot of Chinese dishes. So I really miss Chinese food now. Um, and then after we had watched a, a mass dance show, and that was pretty cool. They did like, a sacrifice of the bowl and everything. Um, and after we just walked around for a bit, we had a bit of free time. We actually took a ferry across the stream, which is like, I don't know, you could probably swim across it in like 20 seconds if I could swim, but I can't. But pretty much. Um, you take a ferry across the stream and you walk up this cliff and then on your walk up this cliff there are like different like little villages and stuff like that and little houses where Confucianism was studied so we took a bunch of pictures and at the top of the cliff was this amazing like outlook of the whole Hahe village and that was really amazing to look at also the village is spelled H-O-H-O-E I'm not sure if I'm saying it right but I'm pretty sure it's Hahe village I could be wrong I'll it's Hahe um so the cliff has outlook of the whole village it was beautiful it reminded me of 
Vancouver a little bit just because you could see like the village aka Vancouver and then to the right you could see like the river which kind of creates like like, uh, like deltas and streams which kind of remind me of like you know Richmond where I live so that's kind of cool um, it was gorgeous I love being in nature and I haven't been in nature for a while so that was amazing and then we hike back down and when I say hike it really was like a two minute walk or like a ten minute walk super easy but you know whatever um, so then we walked back down and then we went to the beach because at this uh, fast festival uh, once a year they also have this crazy fireworks show and I wish I had a nice camera which I don't but it was just so effing amazing so pretty much the fireworks contained four the fireworks show contained four types of fireworks so the, there's a cliff here and it goes there's and there are these ropes that connect down across the river to the ground level over here and then these ropes uh, contain the first firework which are these little sparklers and they start down here and they slowly make their way across the stream like this and it just like they look like sparklers but they're huge and they're just like raining sparkles down onto the river it was just so amazing i can't really describe it to you i took pictures but they suck but i'll post them anyways and the second type of firework were the firework where they shot them into the water and it was kind of like it just kind of was an orb of fire that kind of just drifted across the river so that was really cool too uh the third type of firework was um what was it oh it was the firework that so pretty much in the cliff they had these guys at the top and then they made the audience count like hana set whatever like one two three in korean and then they would throw these like giant like balls of fire down into the river into this like, cauldron of fire it was like so amazing i can't even describe it and then for firework, which I don't actually really, I don't really get it, but I think it was the whole like line firework and it made it into like different like shooting fireworks. So that was really cool. And then they had this like boat that uh, sailed across the river with like traditional people in their in the traditional Korean outfits dancing. And then also towards the end, people got lanterns like this huge, and they set them into the air. And it was just it was just so beautiful. Like I just love this kind of stuff. Um, it was just so romantic. I'm like, damn it, like why don't I have like you know like. Paul read there with me or something like that. So that was really beautiful. I could have sat there forever, except we were effing freezing. So next time I do this kind of trip, I'll definitely bring um, a blanket or something or sweatpants. And then after we went down back to the, the restaurant area or the downtown of the village and we had uh, dinner. So I had bibimbap and udon. Um, we also had soju. I only had like half a half a shot glass because I wasn't really in a drinking mood. Um, but this Andon is famous for its uh, soju because they have 21% soju and 40% soju. And only soju is only like 5 or 10%, so it was a lot stronger. Um, my half shot was pretty intense. I could, it's probably a bad idea to drink on a regular basis. Um, but then we went back to our pension, we took a nap, or I mean, we went to bed, sorry. And it was my first time, first night in like over two weeks. I got, I was able to get full eight hours of sleep, so during the eight hours, I was literally dead to the world. And then also on the first day, I got these little cute little mass dance keychains. I don't know if you can see right there. I don't know if my camera auto focuses or not, so I'm just gonna put it here for five seconds and see if it focuses. And then you can tell me in the video. So yeah, so I got these two mass dance keychains. I actually got them one for me. I don't know why I got two because I have no one else to give it to. Maybe I'll just send them back home. I don't know. We'll see what I'll do with that. And then the second day I went back down to Andon City, which it had the festival. And the festival was actually free, but it had like showings and whatnot. So we went in there and then it was just this giant park and it had like, all these things going like booths it's kind of carnival almost like there was food there was shows there was like mass dancing mass making like, mug making t-shirt making there's so many things to look at there were like rides to go on like for kids obviously um and yeah so i'll post more pictures of that too so i made this mask which i told you about and i also bought these cute ch flavored chocolate for my um, vice principals at school so i got orange flavored chocolate it was really good i tried it and then i have green apple flavored chocolate yeah pretty awesome and I also got these little like cake thingies for my co-workers in my office so hopefully they'll enjoy this I don't see why not it's free food everyone loves free food so yeah so after we just walked around I had like, a nice day we watched um, a show where we had Mexico dance uh, Mexican dancing Uzbekistan dancing uh, Malaysian dancing and I've never I don't know anything about Uzbekistan so that was pretty cool to watch I um, mean it was my first time watching Mexican interpretive dance and it was surprisingly interesting because I thought when Mexico was going to perform, they would totally do like, you know, like maracas and like piñatas and ay ay ay. But no, they did like interpretive, interpretive dance. It was actually really good to watch. And it was also my first time watching Korean interpretive dance. And I'm pretty sure, I still don't know if I enjoyed it or not, but I was definitely confused and I was kind of bored. So I probably didn't enjoy it. And then I also watched a mass dancing for a bit. Um, and yeah, and then, oh, I also filmed a lot of videos today. So I'll, I'll post them as the week progresses. Um, I'll probably blog a bit less this week. I don't know, that's a lie. I'll probably still blog. But I'll definitely keep posting videos because I just filmed a lot today. And we saw these little, like, 
you know those like rickshaws that you see in like Asia and stuff? So they had those at the festival, but then instead of a person pulling it, it was like this creepy teddy bear robot. It was really bizarre. So I filmed that too, so I'll post it online as well. And yeah, so we just came back and it was a really nice trip. And we're looking forward to next weekend because I'm going to Jinju Lantern Festival, which is like a famous kind of world famous festival. So I'm super excited for that. And yeah, like I, I definitely miss clubbing, but it's definitely nice to get out of the city and kind of see a different part of Korea as well. So yeah, that's my video about the mass dance and that's it. All right, enjoy. Bye.